Mrs. Bogart. Mrs. Bogart. My hands are all dirty. She's gonna have to lick herself clean. Hi, baby. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you guys today is uh, when I took all those cuttings off the tree, um, I've actually been I grabbed these tree pots, so these long thin pots, and I grabbed some soil. And since they have the circle hole in the bottom, a lot of soil will just fall out. But I just put a couple handfuls in and I pressed it down. So I compacted it at the bottom just like this much. Um, and then I took some of these cuttings, even the thicker ones, just put them in there and then packed the soil up around it. I got 15 planted here. I have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Um, and then I have a few more of those cuttings that I just planted in the backyard, um, 24, 25. So there's three more somewhere. I had 28 to plant. Um, but that's what I wanted to show you guys an update on these too because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how they do in, in the tree pot. Um, the other one, I had a few fans come over today and get some PKM1 seeds and they gifted me a Moringa cutting from India, an India Moringa cutting. And I actually put it in the ground right here. So I put this bubbler on the end here to water this section. All right, so this is the little Moringa cutting today that uh, Heidi and Jared came over and they wanted some PKM1 seeds and I gave them some of Carrie and Mike's seeds as well. So they're gonna be sharing the love with the Moringa seeds, but they also shared me, shared some love with me with this uh, a Moringa cutting and they got it from India or it comes from a tree that came from India. So um, I'm excited to grow this and see their tree grow in my yard. So thank you, Heidi and Jared, I really appreciate it. Super stoked to see this guy sprout. So I'll keep you guys in the loop on how Heidi and Jared's Moringa does as well pack it in here you just really want to pack the soil around each side don't let it get too close to any one side try to keep it right in the middle and then push down nice and sturdy like give it a nice push because these don't have roots yet these need to develop roots so you kind of want to compact it pretty good in there um, and when you put it in the ground you know definitely dig up the ground around it like a big hole and just make it sure it's like nice and mixed right around there you can inoculate it if you want or you can plant it right directly in native clay and see what happens as long as you keep it watered um, so that's another one so that's 16. so i'm going to do that with the rest of these cuttings here um, and then i'm going to let you guys know how they sprout so i have some small ones so i did this small one here if you chop this one into two cuttings because it's so long and you wanted two trees out of it you, it's, it actually probably will still work, but what I'm finding is it's better to have the long cutting. The long cutting has a better chance of sprouting. The little ones will too, and that's why I'm still trying them out. But the longer ones have more energy in them. There's more nutrition and energy in this stem because it's so long and it's going to promote a lot more growth. Even if it just starts growing down here, all that energy is gonna push out of one node or two. That's kind of the idea of the longer the stalk or the thicker the stalk, the more energy it has inside of it still to help it grow before it even gets roots. Because it'll start getting roots after it starts growing, which is the mighty Moringa for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this little guy in here and I'm gonna put this one in here. And I'm gonna plant the rest of these uh, off camera because it's just gonna take a long time. And uh, I want you to come see one more thing over here. This is the uh, cutting that we took from um, Moana the Moringa. This one has the root ball attached to it, so it's the very bottom of the cutting, but look at that. It, it, it like started sprouting up two or three days ago, and it actually has a big sprout now. So that root ball that was fractured, when I pulled it up out of the ground, I had actually uh, broken off the taps, the tap roots on it. But I still put the main tap root along with this bottom trunk in the ground to see what would happen and it's getting a nice sprout. So Moringas are very hardy, they're very strong. I also did a test where I, I took the root parts that I broke off and I put those in pots too. Now they haven't sprouted yet and there's a really good chance they're not gonna sprout. But this is the, the root like nub. I took a nub of a root and wanted to see if it'll sprout. So I'll keep you in the loop on, the, on, in the loop on that to see if it actually does anything. But these are the small cuttings that I put in the the soil here and some of them like this one started to sprout but now it's kind of dying this one's doing really well this one's sprouting really well so is this one so the thin cuttings are fine 
um, they will sprout, not all of them, but you're not gonna get a 100% sprout rate and you don't really need one. You just need to plant as many cuttings as you can and you get a 50% sprout rate, you're fine. So, That's all the cuttings from Maui. And uh, well, I did have my U-shaped giant leaf moringa, but now it's only single stock giant leaf moringa. So those are the cuttings here and over there. Um, I'm gonna give them a nice water once a day, keep them moist, and uh, I'll let you know. Um, I think it's the 10th, September 10th right now, 2017. So we'll have a few more months before we go into the winter. So uh, I think it's gonna do well. So thanks again for watching guys. Uh, grow your own moringas and uh, share them with the world. Comment below because I will answer every single comment that you guys uh, post. And sometimes I might even do a video on your comment. So thank you so much again for watching. Give me a big green thumbs up if you like this video and share it with the world guys. I want everybody to know that they can plant their own moringas and grow their own food and be sustainable for your family and the world and pr produce more oxygen on this planet. So, um, Thanks again, guys. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down below. Till next time, develop awesome skills. Love you guys. This is Jermaine. She's a little explorer. And she's got beautiful eyes. And she's such a sweetheart, but I need to get her a collar. I still haven't done that. Love you, sweetheart. She likes to get down.